The Great Lakes region is one of the mineral-rich areas in Africa endowed with rare earth minerals. However, these have been the source of civil strife, putting both the nations and populations in these areas at a disadvantage. The International Conference on Great Lakes Region on Extractives, taking place in Kampala, is pushing for certification of minerals to eliminate those from conflict areas. When the heads of state they met, this is about 13 years ago in Lusaka, to address the problem of the illegal exploitation of the natural resources in the, I mean, the Great Lakes region as a source of conflict, especially in the Eastern DRC. So they decided to put an end to this illegal exploitation of natural resources by adopting various mechanisms. One of them was certification of our minerals so that we establish this is not conflict minerals. Women and youth who form a big percentage of the artisanal mining industry lack financial muscle to compete. Therefore, a need for inclusive financial policies. And we will be um, ring fencing areas for licensing artisanal mining. And uh, women and youth are always the majority in this category of mining, of group, the artisanal miners. So, when you make a law that recognizes that Zanu miners, in a way, you are helping women and youth to get involved. And also the, 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 the point of uh, value addition in the mining sector. Our law now bans the exportation of unprocessed minerals. That will pull factories to Uganda, and we are looking at these factories as sources of jobs for the, for the women and also the youth. For now, these are largely wishes and evidently more lobbying needs to be done to get government fully sold onto this agenda. Joanne Salmon, NTV Business.